Hey guys, it's me Tajika Daily and guys, I apologize firstly <laughs> for not being on here for so long. Um, today I am back with a video showing you how to make a bag. I'm making a custom bag for someone. They don't know about it yet. So I'm trying to give them a gift and this is going to be a one day project. Okay. I'm not entirely sold on how shiny it is but i was searching for like pink leather everywhere couldn't find it and i said you know what you're creative enough to finesse this i'm sure we can make it work so i picked up some pink future pink vinyl and i also have this lining that i've had here for years and i want to use it because i think the two of them look quite nice together um i am a sucker for a print and vintage type prints i love them so i'm going to try to make that work i even got a cute little floral gift bag to go with that as well so guys wish me the best of luck so let's get cracking on this bag let's go All right so what you need for this is a vinyl fabric the lining the interfacing some pins uh, fabric pen scissors and pattern pieces you'll also need the handle for the bag which I didn't show and so we begin by cutting out our top layer bag pieces I'm gonna turn it with the right sides facing together just so it's easy for me to mark the fabric pen on the wrong side and um, measure up from the fold to the edge just to make sure that you folded in a straight line and then you can begin cutting out your pattern pieces. So I'm gonna cut out two of these pattern pieces on the fold, and that will be the front and the back of the exterior part of the back. Once you've finished tracing around them, just cut directly on the line for both pieces. You're gonna cut the front and the back. I haven't added seam allowance to the fabric, but it was on the pattern already, so I don't need to add that. Once you've cut them out both times, this is what it will look like once they are cut. Um, here's what it looks like when it's opened, and you've got like a very wide curve at the top and a curve at the bottom. And you're gonna cut out the lining pieces Measure it out again, make sure that the um, fold is even and I've folded it again just so I can cut out the front and back at the same time. And once you do that, I'll show you what the next step is. Now that it's all cut out, you should have a pattern piece that looks something like this. Um, you see the corners have right angles, it's called when you sew them together, it will create like an upright effect um, and it allows the bag to stand. So I'm just using the lining as a pattern to cut out the interfacing and that's what's going to be ironed on to the lining. These are all the pattern pieces that you should have now, two of the vinyl, two of the lining and two of the interfacing. Along the pattern edge of the top layer of the bag were notches and I'm just pinning them or clipping them in place right now. I wouldn't recommend that you use pins on vinyl because they don't really come out. So if you have any fabric clips, use that for um, the security of the folds or the pleats or whatever. Um, now that I've pinned them all in place, clip them all in place, I'm going to just sew along the top for both pieces. I'm going to interface the lining piece as well. Um, if you've seen I've sewn on my label, you can add on your labels or whatever at this point on the lining. And here, this is the handle that I mentioned earlier that you will need for this bag because it's a clutch bag, dumping clutch, and they are known to have these handles. So I've measured out a strip that's going to go around them. I think my strip was about 12 inches wide. Um, so you cut out a strip that is three inches wide and 12 inches long. Okay, so I'm just using the sewing machine now to sew up the vinyl. It was a bit problematic because sewing vinyl, it kind of gets stuck, but I tried to change with a Teflon foot and I just took my time and it helped that I pulled it from the back as well as pushing it from the front, but don't push it too much that you break your needle. 
just take your time with this part because once it's done it will look something like this and it will look really cute um, so do that repeat that for the back as well and then um, if you see here I tried to use um, interfacing to kind of glide it and it worked out a bit better and it did so you can add a piece of paper on the top you can add interfacing but just remember to pull out the little remnants at the end so here we have the two pieces all sewn up and I'm putting the right sides together I'm gonna sew down the two side seams and I'm gonna sew the bottom and you're gonna leave the little right angle alone because then you're gonna go and you're gonna turn it in press the seams together so the bottom seam and the side seam have to touch each other so now you're creating a straight line where there was once a corner um, so what you do is put the seams together I was gonna open mine and press them flat but um, I think it helps when you push the seams in different directions so it's not as bulky and then what you're gonna do is stitch across the now flat seam or the flat edge that you have the straight edge that you have and uh, yeah then you've got you've made yourself a little corner you've made yourself a little thing for the bag to stand upright with Once you finish stitching, you should have something that looks like this. That would create the perfect corner. So here's my lining. You're going to do the same process, side seams and side seams. And then you're going to stitch the bottom, but you're going to leave a gap between the bottom edge. Here you're going to see me unpicking it because I've just realized I've gone ahead and got a little bit ambitious. So I'm just leaving a gap where I'm going to have to turn the whole bag out. Just make sure you leave a big enough gap that you can pull the whole bag through at the end. Here, the next step, I'm focusing on the strip that the handle will be threaded through or pushed through. So you find the middle and you secure it to the middle of the bag. And you're going to fold the edges of the strip up by one centimeter. And then you're going to have a neat edge. All right. So you're just going to sew that down and you're going to do that four times. And that is two per strip. Once you've done that, you secure the strap in place and what you're going to do now is push the bag inside the lining. So um, line everything up on the top edge and because you've already got the clips in place, just lift them and reclip them to secure the lining to the bag. And if you're wondering why or how this makes sense, you're putting the right side of the bag to the right side of the lining and then as you see at the bottom, you have access to pull it all through. All right, so we're just gonna thread it through I've realized I didn't leave enough of a gap because if it was a softer fabric it would come through but because it's vinyl it was a little bit tough to get through a smaller gap and as you can see here now your bag is basically done you have the gap for the lining at the bottom which you're gonna fold in by one centimeter to follow the seam allowance that was there if you need to pin it in place just so it's neater then you can go and do that but you're gonna fold in by one centimeter and then you are just gonna top stitch it with um, the same color or whatever color thread you have, just so it's neatly disguised or hidden away.
Now that's complete. I'm just giving the bag a full check. I'm just pressing down the vinyl where the vinyl and the lining and the straps are connected. And what you do is grab your handle now and you're going to thread it through carefully because it's vinyl and it, it can rip if you're doing it quite forcefully. So just take your time and feed it through the strip and, and do that on both sides. Make sure that they are facing the correct way because there's different sides. They're not the same on both sides. So you need to make sure the right sides are connected once you thread it through. Now this is what it should all look like and basically your bag is complete. All you're going to do now is line the pieces up together and you're going to just put through a little metal rod and on other ones you have ones that screw on both sides but this one's just a metal rod that you push through the, the four holes that connect. On this bag I wanted to do something extra special so I got a little bit creative and I found little clamps i don't know the name of them i'm gonna have to research that i found little hooks and i found little clasp and everything like that i've taken them off an old bag strap i also had a chain that was connected to a belt that i had bought online that said one size fit all uh, clearly not um so i've removed that and i'm just kind of being a bit handy believe it or not i've never done anything like this before and I just got a little bit adventurous um, and I, in the process before when I was sewing up the side seams of the vinyl, I had added a little loop on the side. Um, as mentioned in the video, you can add a loop if you want to add charms or little um, widgets or whatever you want to your bag. So I've left them there so now I can add this cute little chain. It came with a cute little padlock so I'm just going to put it on and it's just like a little feature so if she did want to add extra little things later on she could and I I absolutely love how this bag turned out I am so happy I'm so happy that I just took a little creative inspiration and took the time out to make this for my lovely sister which I gifted to her on her birthday um I believe she loved it I absolutely love it this lining is everything guys i really hope you enjoyed this video because i really did i enjoyed making this um i've expanded my range of products to bags now so if you're interested in getting yourself a bag please look online my website will be listed below thank you again for watching this video god bless you all goodbye